Hey, this is Garrett over at Conquest Classic Cars here in Greeley, Colorado. Just doing a quick walk around and start up here on our 1971 VW camper bus here. So this bus is actually pretty unique. It came out of Southern California originally. It was actually purchased by a local VW collector and restorer who was actually the one that did the Subaru swap and conversion and redid the interior on this one. As you can see back here, it's absolutely beautiful. All redone wood. This is all Baltic birch wood. It's all been um, sealed four times and then the top was coated with a, a nice clear epoxy to give it a nice durable shine and finish there. Floors were all sealed, sound deadened, and then vinyl applied down here. Really nice, again, Baltic birch on all corners. It's got your fresh water tank there. Um, you did put the sink back in and it's now ran via an electric water pump right there. That works great. New refrigerator installed as well. You can run that off of the electric or the propane tank, which I'll show you here in a second. I mean, I'm just impressed by the, the craftsmanship on all of these, on all these cabinets. They're all really, really nicely made. All shut very nice. Kind of trying to show you the beautiful finish on it there is a little hidden storage compartment here these are the uh slide rails that the the drapes go on you can see that you can uh hang curtains there i do have those stored up here one of these folders here i got a bunch of curtains that can be hung up on all these windows if you'd wish and kind of got a uh, vintage 1970s kind of portable uh, porta potty there. Some coasters and TV dinner trays and some silverware. Some beautiful cabinetry. It's about six foot tall in here. You can you can stand up and walk around pretty easily. I'm right at six foot and I can stand up in here no problem. Of course you got your windows here. Look out. Up here I have a, a tent that you can see in our photo gallery that's pictured set up on the outside. Got a fresh water hose with a filter, bunch of miscellaneous little spare parts and things you might need, a privacy screen there for the front window. Just a bunch of good little stuff with it. Passenger side seat is a is a swivel chair, which is nice, gives you a little adjustability there. Of course, this has been all reupholstered and folds down into a full bed. There are the, the tent poles for the, the full tent that goes with it. Well, one other thing I wanted to point out here is this is your, uh, your gauge for your battery level and your solar panel control unit. So this bus does have solar panels up top. Let's see if you can see them up there. Those are wired in back here. got all the solar panels wired back here now if the system is currently not operational if you wanted to get it operational you'd have to run your wires to whatever you want to power inside the bus with those solar panels and then you would need to install a few solar panel batteries but that system's there that's there for the next owner if you if you want to use that back of the bus here Tent poles right here. They'll sleep two here. Now here's that 2.5 liter Subaru engine that's been swapped in. As you can see, it fits really nicely in here. I thought it was a really nice job that he did. I do have an app that you can actually sync on your phone called Dash Command that you can you can pull up all the all the figures and specs for this motor while it's running will give you the the engine temperature, uh, RPMs, timing, all that stuff, which is really cool that you can look at that stuff in real time. This is truly a bus that you can take and, and drive anywhere 
and really enjoy. I mean, that's always been the biggest downfall on these old buses is the original engines used to not have enough power. But with that uh, Subaru 25, you know, you're making about three times the horsepower that these things originally had. So cruising on the highway is not a problem at all. This has been fitted with a rebuilt um, four-speed manual. It is a Volkswagen four-speed, um, but it's been redone by uh, Rancho Transmissions out of California, and they have re-geared this transmission, I think, with a longer third and fourth gear in order to be able to, to drive on the highway and really utilize that power that you get with that Subaru engine. Um, so again, up front here is actually absolutely beautiful. I love this wood-trimmed wheel here with the, with the Wolfsburg Castle in the center, kind of this Porsche-esque style tachometer that's mounted up there on the dash. Did put in a, a actual temperature gauge for a little bit better readings. Speedometer and odometer there, and of course your fuel tank and idiot lights there. Um, transmission shifts grade, we'll show you that here in a second when we drive down the road. Interior's been reupholstered up here. Looks like original headliner up front. There's a little tear back there, but overall in nice shape. And the dash looks good and you can see the wiring and everything was a clean install nothing nothing crazy everything on this bus has been has been done to a nice standard everything shuts nice paint job has not been redone in some time so it's definitely driver quality you can see there's little nicks and scratches on it there's a little bit of rust starting to form and bubble in front of this this tire here so there's a couple little miscellaneous bubbles here and there as you can see though underneath the bus is actually really solid i don't see any any rot through on the bottom of this at all um there's your radiator as you can see it's kind of protected by this this steel tubing shroud and it's got a, a mesh metal cover on there to protect it over bumps and stuff i've not had any problems with this bus bottoming out or anything like that um you know, I would just recommend as long as you're not doing any serious off-roading in this thing, you'll, you should be completely fine there. You can see the rebuilt transmission and transaxle axles. Uh, of course, engine's been completely gone through. They pulled that engine apart, rebuilt the cylinder heads on it, new caskets, new timing change. It had 130,000 miles when they put it in there. It'll, it'll last many, many more. Windshield looks good up front. It's got new Falcon rubber on all four corners along with the spare there. It's amazing actually how well this bus drives. Again, underneath on this side looks real solid as well. That's nice. This side has only just a few little rust bubbles there. A couple more in the back. But that's about the extent of the rust on this vehicle. It's, it's very solid, especially for one of these old camper buses. All the seals actually still look good. They're still supple. They're not all dry rotted or nasty like you sometimes see. In here you have a couple little pieces here. Your controls, you can run your refrigerator there, right? either off of electricity or, or your propane, which is all right there. And this other compartment is your propane tank itself. Really easy to work on and well, Kind of a two-handed job there got your fresh water there you got your electrical output right there your drain there well perfect let me go ahead and fire it up here real quick and then we'll take it out for a ride
fires right up, sounds good, no smoke, stays nice and cool. Honestly, after driving one of these West Polyas, I would not own one without that Subaru conversion. It just makes it such a more drivable and usable vehicle, especially if you want to take it camping and, and take it long distances. So without further ado, we'll uh, go ahead and take it out for our test drive and see how it rides down the road.